Hola Marina, ¿cómo estás? Fenomenal, Ben, ¿tú qué tal? Fenomenal también. Where are we? We are in Granada. We are right now in the barrio del Realejo. We were here last night and it was absolutely packed of people having a good time, including in us. Including us, yes. yeah. We are here in Granada because, uh, well, first of all, today we're going to share three wonderful real Spanish phrases with you about travel in a minute. So hang in there. Um, that's coming up. We're here to record a very special video for our Inner Circle membership. We'll talk more about that at the end. Uh, that's why we're here. But yes, travel phrases. We have traveled from Madrid to Granada and we wanted to share three real Spanish phrases with you, starting with a wonderful verb uh, which you can use to talk about exploring cities. Uh, what we did a lot of yesterday. Marina, yes. what is it? Callejear. Yeah, you'll find all these written underneath the video, by the way. So, callejear. Yes. What does it mean? Where does it come from? Uh, it means to walk the streets like without a direction, like having a look around. Right? Yeah, you take a left, then you take a right, then another left, and then two rights. You're just exploring randomly. And what a wonderful city Granada is for that. Yes, also uh, callejear from, comes from calle. And in this case, these streets, these narrow streets, we sometimes call them callejas, because they are really narrow, no? Yep. Okay, so we've got callejear, to sort of wander randomly down the little streets. Lovely verb. Wonderful bit of real Spanish. Next, we've actually, we've come on quite a well-planned trip this time. We booked our hotel. In, uh, in advance. In yeah. advance and so on. But there's a lovely phrase in Spanish for when you just go off on an adventure. Uh, maybe you've got a month and you just go from place to place. You make it up as you go along. How do you say that? Even for a week, ir a la aventura. It means when you don't have a, pl a, a set plan. You just flow, you just go to one place, stay, you come to Granada, you don't have a reservation, you find a hotel or a hostel, and you stay for a couple of nights, and when you are ready to move on, you go to the next place, and then you go to Malaga, let's say, or to the beach. Right, okay, so that's... And you find a, a hostel there, you don't have a G set plan. Give me a phrase with that. Eh, nos vamos a Andalucía a la aventura. Fantastic. ¿Qué vienes? Me apunto, me apunto. Me apunto means I'm up for it. Yes, count, count me in. Okay, the third phrase, Marina, is... Darse un homenaje. Darse un homenaje. Un homenaje is like, it sounds like when you pay homage to, some, to somebody, but really you're paying homage to yourself, no? Yes, you can eh, dar un homenaje a otra persona, to someone else, but darse un homenaje when you apply to yourself is when you are going, and have a, you are going to have a very special lunch. No? Yeah, or, so for or, example... Or supper. Uh, um, a media día me voy a dar un homenaje. De marisco. De marisco. Of seafood, <laughs> for example. That yes, we've like just seen, it's like uh, 10 o'clock in the morning and we've seen all the people coming into the restaurants with the daily produce, the fresh fish from directly from the port. Yeah, so. all, all the deliveries going into the Granada restaurants and our tummies are already <laughs> rumbling. How do you say that in Spanish? My tummy me is suenan rumbling. las tripas. Me suenan las tripas. Mm. Literally, my, my tripas, my tummies are sounding. <laughs> so yeah, there's another bit of real Spanish for you. Me suenan las tripas. Or, uh, se me hace la boca agua. Yes. You say that. Give us your, your wonderful uh, pronunciation. Se me hace la boca agua con eh, los productos que hemos visto esta mañana. Right, and my mouth is watering from the wonderful uh, products we've seen this morning. Okay, so lots of real Spanish there. It's all written underneath, uh, so you can see it written down. As we said, we are in Granada making a video for our Inner Circle membership. Uh, we normally have this closed. It's not always available to join, but we're opening up at the beginning of May for three days now, from Monday till Wednesday, 72 hours. If you'd like to join, then please do come and take a look because uh, this month we are focusing on travel. As we've said, we're here to make a video for the Inner Circle about our our favorite secret corner of Granada, where we always love to go when we're here. That's what we're gonna go and do now. If you'd like to see that, if you'd like to see all of our other Inner Circle videos, um, then now is your chance to join. ¿Qué más, Mina? What else is in the Inner Circle? Well, there's a lovely community there and an opportunity for you to, to um, uh, participate and improve your your Spanish. Yeah, what we've seen is people really do improve hugely. We've had a few members that have been there for a few months and we're like, you know, their Spanish has improved enormously. They're getting loads of extra real Spanish videos from us. They're getting uh, help and, and corrections and grammar tips from our wonderful coach Ariadna. And just being there and being with all the other super keen real Spanish learners is a huge boost to your Spanish. So if you're interested in our inner circle, 
have a look click on the link underneath this video we're opening it up for just three days right now and this is travel month we're going to be sharing amazing tips amazing uh travel related material from around spain and and from all of our members and we can't wait to see you there if you'd like to join too bueno algo más nada más let's go and explore granada and make that video venga hasta luego hasta pronto